Germans have a reputation for being fast drivers. But those autobahns, after all, where there's no speed limit at all. So it's a good thing. They also have a reputation for leading the world when it comes to safety innovations in cars. And that's why I'm here in Stuttgart, Germany, to drive a car that has a remarkable new safety feature. They're saying it should dramatically reduce the number of deaths on the road. Every year, hundreds of thousands of people die in car accidents. So imagine a set-and-forget cruise control system that not only controls your speed to match the cars ahead of you, but controls the braking as well. Car companies like Daimler Chrysler, BMW, Jaguar, Nissan, Toyota, Honda, Volvo and Ford have found the technology. Submarines and planes have had them for years. Now, the new Mercedes has one, a built-in radar. The purpose is to detect potentially dangerous vehicles up ahead, or people, for example. You should be able to see me. There's a blip moving around on the screen. The car's radar is actually under the bumper. We've taken one off here so you can have a look. There are actually five radars. The top one here, that's the long distance one, and there are four built into the bumper itself. They all send radio waves out there. Radio waves reflect off cars or any other objects that happen to be there. They come back. Each of these units also pick up the reflection. All the information is sent to the central computer. It's processed, and together it forms a picture for the car of what lies ahead. The long-range radar detects objects at distances up to 150 metres. Nearby objects are picked up by the short-range radars, which have a range of just 30 metres, 100 feet. Working together, this new car radar cruise control can be adapted for any speed in all traffic conditions. We can use cruise control also at low speed, stop and go, following in density traffic also, not only in highways. And that is one of the maybe best advantages for the driver. How low? How low a speed? Stop and go. Really in uh, stop and go situations, traffic jams and so on. But to start, restart again, you have to activate the system oh. again. So there's still some human control in there somewhere. Of course, the driver has to yeah. be in a responsibility. Yeah. And if you're looking for a responsible driver, who better than a Beyond Tomorrow presenter? Let's try out this adaptive cruise control. So I've put it into cruise control. And now when the car up in front slows down, <laughs> the car does it automatically. I haven't put my foot on the brake at all. It's just done it by itself. Now I give it a flick. Still, no foot on the pedals. The car is speeding up by itself. I must admit, it freaks you out a bit at first, but the system works. And it's, it's going up to the cruise control speed. I set it at 30. <laughs> That's quite an unusual experience. Now, another advantage of this radar system is it actually helps me brake more smoothly in an emergency. Say the car up front suddenly stops. Most people apply the brakes too lightly at first, then when they realise they're not going to stop, they suddenly slam them on. Well, that's where the radar can fix things. It knows how far that parked car is away, it knows how fast I'm travelling, so it calculates how hard the brakes need to be applied. If I'm not pushing hard enough, it automatically takes over. All right, let's check it out. You can really actually feel them come on. You just apply the brake gently and boom, suddenly the brakes come on by themselves. Very impressive. But on a simpler level, they're also designed to help drivers avoid those annoying bingles and dents, which are often part and parcel of everyday driving. Anti-crash radar systems are starting to appear in all brands of cars. Driving simulations have shown that Brake Assist Plus can reduce rear-end accidents by as much as 75%. So, in the not-too-distant future, hopefully scenes like these will be very rare indeed. <laughs>